We don't lose here. Okay. Shoot. Coach, uh, first of all, obviously a milestone night. A lot of people yeah, watching. Yeah. Uh, what is it disappointment? Is well, it yeah, it's, it's disappointment. Anytime you lose a game, it's disappointment, especially here, because we are almost invincible here. Uh, credit goes to Wilmington. They got a lot of losses, but if you watch them play for the first time, you'd say, how did that happen? Uh, they made tough shots, and at the end, we had a couple chances uh, to make shots that I thought were good shots, and we missed. And I can't, we can't say, I mean, the, the, the look that we got at the end of the game is exactly what we wanted. An open three for our best shooter. And unfortunately, and it's going to hurt the kid because he missed, and, uh, but that's not his fault. You know, nobody can make every shot. Hey coach, you had some stretches there where you where you split some foul shots, and in a in a, in a two point loss, can, I mean, would it fair yeah. to say it made a difference? Yeah, uh, yeah. It was surprising when Nick missed one. Peter's not what you would call a great foul shooter. He missed a couple, and uh, yeah, that, anytime you miss foul shots, that hurts you no matter what time in the game. But I thought we had them when we had them nine. It was their ball, and they come down and hit a three, and then they stayed with it, and that's when we that's when we started missing. And when you miss shots, you lose games, and that's what happened to us tonight. Can you talk about the emotion too, little... because of all the people and, and everything? Oh, without question, yeah, yeah. And... This, this was, you know, I, if that shot goes in, I'm the happiest man in the world. A because we won. B because this would be over. Well, see, all this, I'm not used to all this. You know, nobody, nobody asked me any questions after the game except where you going, Herb. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no, this is this is tough, and it's tough on the kids too. You know, they're. You know, they, they've lost uh, maybe one game. Some of these guys have never lost, uh, may, maybe lost one game in two years at home. So we expect to win when we play anybody, but we expect certainly to win when we play at home. Do you typically go for the three when you're down two? Yeah, I, I decided to do that. But tonight, or do you typically No, do that? we would do that. Okay. I, I, I trust that kid, and he's a great shooter. And we have a number of different things to run to try and get a shot in that situation. With five seconds ago, we, we practice it every day. And that worked like you drew it up. You know, I mean, he got a, a wide open look. And uh, many times when you're in a situation like that, rather than go for the tie, even though we are home, and the momentum was on their side. You know, I mean, we caught a break when the kid missed a foul, but it's only down two. So, and it looked good when you let it go. It did. It really did. And you know, he's a good shooter. And he had just made three foul shots and th that pressure foul shots. And he made a great play in the corner getting fouled on a three. Mm -hmm. So, no, I, I have complete confidence. In the back of your mind when you come into a game like this, do, do you worry that everybody's expecting us to win, like the build Everybody does. And, yeah. yeah, everybody does. You don't win that many games all the time without people expecting you to win. So, uh, you know, it's a shame. It really is a shame. Have shame you, thing for the kids. Have you allowed yourself to sit back and, and let sink in about what you're about to do? No, no. I mean, the only, only time I do is when you guys show up or if somebody calls me on the phone. I, it, I've never, ever dwelled on any kind of milestone. Actually, they're annoying to me because uh, I think it takes away from uh, the emphasis on the team and puts too much emphasis on me. And I, always, I said to the kids a couple of weeks, a week ago, I said, fellas, you have enough confidence in your coach you think he can win three games before his career ends? And they started laughing. You know what I mean? And they all said, yeah, coach, we know you can. So I, I try to, you know, take the pressure off of them. And, and, and I don't think they played under pressure. They would like to win for me. I'm sure they're all good kids. But, you know, basketball is that game. I, that's a game. You know, give, give credit to Wilmington. You can see their enthusiasm, the way they played. When I, they came out loose, Herb, uh, and, and hit some shots, was there a little bit of pressure on your guys, you think, when the ball didn't go in right off the bat? For us? Yeah, early. Yeah, day. no, that happens. And then what happened was what we came back and responded. We're down four and, and this, at the half, and then they, they score again. We're down six or seven. And all of a sudden, here we come, and outscored them by like 16 to take a nine-point lead. I'm sitting there now thinking, this is us, because uh, a lot of times teams come in here and you get them down and they fold. And that team didn't fold. I give them credit. Where'd you get? Where'd you get hit? Uh, no, he just, he just took me out. You know, like uh, I made him run a suicide the other day, and he decided to get me back. this <laughs> <laughs> was the uh, dribble penetration of the guard. Without question. Yeah, we knew that. So now we had toyed with zone in the first half, but they were going against uh, uh, they were going against the zone the same way. They've got really good athletes. I mean, those kids can dribble drive, and the kids are making fadeaway jumpers. You, you do that, you just go like this. Come on, kid made a half quarter in the first half. Come on, that's like uh, a pig game. When you get exposure in a game like this, sir, do you think it opens people's eyes to how difficult Division Two can be? That's not a bad idea. That's pretty good. Uh, that yeah, it, it, college basketball is a tough game, and I told somebody today said the hardest thing in the world to do is win a game, Just any game. doesn't matter who it's against. Going out there and trying to win a basketball game is really hard to do. So, and we've been, you know, 
the program's been pretty successful at it because we got great kids. They listen to what I tell them, and they run offense, and they do what I say to do. But sometimes you get kids on, on the other team that are a tad more athletic. And, uh, you know, I toyed with playing zone, and I did it in the first half for a little bit, and they spread us out, and, you know, and they were making shots. Coach, you look at, you know, at the overall, at the big picture, you have, now you have uh, U-Science is now widening their lead in the CACC right, right. South, so is it, if, if you take away the, the milestone for a minute, does it, is it fair to say that at this point every game is almost critical? Yeah, we have, to win. we have to win every game because uh, the idea is to get a home playoff game in the first round because we're the host this year. We're going to host the semifinals and finals. So if we get, we have to fight now to get a home, not now, but any time, to fight to get a home game. You've got to come in first or second and you're in the north, or excuse me, the south, so you don't have to travel. And that's, that's the key. And it's also a, a big factor for regional considerations when you look at the Northeast 10 yeah. and the East Coast yeah. Conference. Yeah, so. exactly. Now, you got to win games if you're going to go to the tournament, which is the goal of all teams. I heard, heard Jay, uh, Jay Wright was here today. Oh, good, uh, good. John Jay Wright was here today. Yeah, those guys are great guys. It doesn't mean to have those guys. No, they're friends, you know, and then they want to support. They know the, uh, what we're doing. Dickie Weiss is here, too. I mean, come on, what more do you want? Go for yeah. We see yeah. them all the time. Yeah, so, no, it's, it's nice that those guys, and I figured they would be here. Actually, my daughter Kay told me that they had they requested tickets. And you look at... I guess on a more positive note, if you want to look at it that way, I guess also speaks to volumes, how tight the, the Philly Hoops community is between exactly. the Big Five and the, exactly. and the D4 schools here they're in the all, city. They're all good guys. They're not only good coaches, but they're good guys. They really are. And I enjoy being around them at any time I can. So we go do it again Saturday? I hope not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Get it over. No, <laughs> Post is uh, different, different. Post is good. I mean, this mm-hmm. is, you know, Thomas, see, if you're at the Wilmington kids, you come in here, you've never seen a crowd like that. Mm-hmm. You know, they play in front of 50 people, 80 people. So now they hear they come in. I, I knew exactly what they would do. They would play as hard as they possibly could on every possession. And even when they got down, they played even harder. And, you know, I, our guys didn't relax, but, you know, they come after us, you know, and, uh, and to their credit, they beat us. It didn't look good early, and then it looked good, real good late. And then, you know, they, they jumped us, and, you know, to our credit, we came back to that, too. Coach, I missed your opening comments for Give Us Channel 6. Um, everyone came, of course, to see in hopes of a right, milestone right. being reached. But you just had a tough game tonight when you just talk about, um, not necessarily the hype about it, because to you, you just had another game to win. That's exactly right. That's the only way you win basketball games is you take each one individually. And then the next thing I'm concerned about is practice. They're off tomorrow, and then we'll practice Thursday and Friday you know, for our next game on Saturday. And what we have to do is remove that this game from their thoughts and just concentrate on our next opponent. How do you do that with uh, knowing your players are trying to get that milestone? Yeah, you know what, I think I, I talk to them about that, about that all the time. Just relax, don't worry about it. Just play basketball. You know, and they all love playing basketball. And I can't, you know, if we could if we could take what the, their effort that they gave tonight, they, they always give good effort, but they played as hard as you possibly can. And uh, I thought they did a great job. And uh, the comment as well, too, is when your player came and, and got you a little yeah. side swipe, how you doing? How, what happened I'm fine. There? I'm fine. I might be hurting tomorrow, but I'm fine. I'm an extremely fit 73-year-old man. Is that the adrenaline there, Herb? Yeah, exactly. So as I was going to ask him how he hit because he hit me. And I'm the guy that's tougher than anybody else. I hear you. Yeah. So. Lastly, Coach, then, to see all those who did show up in case you did hit your milestone yeah. tonight. Yeah, that, that was great. That was great. You know, it's... It's nice, I mean, to see you know, different people here. My former players, a lot of them were here. And it's nice, and they're all as disappointed as I am, I'm sure. But, you know, it's part of the game. You can't do anything about it. Next game, you got plenty more to go. Exactly right, exactly right. I do have one, uh, actually, one last question, Coach. I mean, you talk about, you look back at your your career, going going back to the days at 5th and Allegheny, yeah. at the Man's Rec Center. So, I mean, it's like, uh, what one moment do you take out of this? I mean, do you have any regrets just no, no. I never. One thing I never, ever, ever do is second guess myself, ever, about anything. And the way I always feel is that if I made a decision, it was the right decision. And I never. Should I have done this? Should I? No. Never enters into my mind. Never. And I think that's the reason I've remained sane all these years. Because if you're a coach and you start second guessing everything you do, you're going to die. Uh, Maybe not only die, but you know what I'm saying. How about the decision then to go for that three, going well, for the absolutely win? Absolutely yeah. the perfect play. I mean, it worked like you drew it up in practice. And he was wide open, and he's our best shooter. So 
So what more do you want? I take it right now. We could go back out and do it again. And he had just made, see, what you do is you go with the hot hand. He just made three foul shots under incredible pressure to give us a chance. And you know, I figured, I'm shocked he missed. I turned around and I, I couldn't believe it because it was right on line. And I was shocked he missed. But he missed. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. Coach, nice to meet you. My it's my pleasure. first time Thank meeting you. We'll you. see you at the next one. I hope so. How about the uh, job Wilmington? I mean, they brought it to them. I told you that. The board games brought it. I knew they would. They come in and they see a, a crowd of people like that. What's going on here? You know what I mean? Take care. Uh, we're going to play. And they come in and they play. So, That's what I would do as a day. So it's a, you know, it's a hard loss, a tough loss. But it's a tough loss not because it was 1,000. It's a tough loss because it's a loss, period. That's all. Answer. We'll get to that. All right. Talk to you then.